freeze! Everybody clap your hands! Hundreds of participants and dozens of volunteers participated in Fort Meade's first Illuminate the Darkness Walk in support of Suicide Prevention Month. We'll have more on the story in just a moment. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, the MCOM CG on a shrinking MWR budget. Fort Meade observes Women's Equality Day. And more news from MWR, including an event you'll want to get your tickets for right away. But first, September is Suicide Prevention Month. The Garrison Suicide Prevention Office and the Navy Prevention Program teamed up to stage the first Illuminate the Darkness Walk in observance of Suicide Prevention Month. Everybody was kind of repeating each other's efforts and there was a lot of redundancy and with the limited um, resources that we have, thought that there would be a lot of value in trying to team up and put some joint effort together and synergize the different programs of the different branches. Suicide program manager for the Navy at Fort Meade, Lori Hanley, says no matter what service you're in, the big thing she wants you to take away from the run is that no matter what you're facing, you are not alone. So much of, of what the military does, the, the information that they put out, is geared for the shipmate, the wingman, the battle buddy. Um, mm -hmm. It's how to look out for other people. I want this event to speak to those who, whether or not they're thinking about it now, may in the future, and we know statistically it's very possible that we're going to have people at this event that may find themselves in that dark place. I want them to walk away from it knowing that they are not alone. Volunteers and walkers were there through the night. We checked in at 3.30 a.m. to see how it was going. How is it that you're out here at 3.30 in the morning? I support a good cause. You know, we're, we're part of the VFW, but I retired out of here, and it's a cause near and dear to my heart. So got to come out and support. Once, yeah. you, once you get past like the 3 a.m. exhaustion, it's much better. After you spend nine yeah. and a half hours out here, it just, it just kind of yeah. passes. It all blends together. <laughs> when, once your body accepts the fact that, oh, sleep isn't a thing today, okay. <laughs> The walk lasted from sunset Thursday to sunrise this morning. We'll have more on Suicide Prevention Month throughout the month of September. Stay tuned. In other news, as we reported here and in other forums, the new fiscal year is going to see less money for some MWR activities. Installation Management Command's Commanding General, Lieutenant General Ken Dahl, recently addressed this issue. In this excerpt, General Dahl says some things won't change. You're likely to see impact felt at places like the outdoor recreation or arts and crafts or auto skills. And what would those impacts look like? Well, perhaps you'll go to auto skills and you'll find out that there's a sign hanging there saying we're closed on Wednesdays. Perhaps you'll go to the arts and crafts and find out that instead of $2 a day, it's now $3 a day. Ideally, we have volunteers who step forward and we have an opportunity to integrate that volunteerism into our workforce and perhaps there's no impact and you don't see it at all at your installation. My point there is that I'm not going to make those decisions here at the MCOM headquarters. What we're allowing is your garrison commanders and your senior commanders at the local level to determine how they can absorb this reduction in funding. Which programs are most important? Which programs are least important? You can check out the General's entire five-minute video on YouTube and stay tuned to Me TV and our award-winning newspaper, The Sound Off, for the latest news from MWR. Meanwhile, Fort Meade welcomed Lieutenant General Gwen Bingham, the Army Assistant Chief of Staff for Installation Management, as the guest speaker for the annual Women's Equality Day observance. During my 35 years of service, I've seen the Army make significant strides as it relates to equality and being able to allow folks the freedom regardless of their gender, their sexual orientation, race, religion, or creed. Speaking to the crowd at Club Me, the journal pointed out that everyone has an individual responsibility to make change. We must work to do our own part to ensure that everyone is treated with dignity and respect. As for the future, General Bingham is quite hopeful. And I believe this new generation called Millennials, I really don't think they think anything about men and women. I think they just think about the attributes of what you bring to the table. And finally tonight, an event that's not coming up until October 1st, but tickets went on sale this week and they usually go pretty fast. It's the 2016 Father Daughter Ball hosted by Club Mead. Tickets are available at Club Mead, and as I said earlier, there's limited seating, and tickets usually go fast. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great Mead Week.